Devereaux here from The Prep Pursuit. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a special etiquette lesson for how to deal with guys when you have a friend that you want to keep a friend. You all, I'm sure, have been in the situation where you need to friend zone a guy. So I'm gonna give you a couple of do's and don'ts so you can navigate how best to deal with keeping a friend in his place. Now, as I talk about in my videos, there is a difference between a lady and a woman. Every female is a woman, but not every woman is a lady. A lady is defined as a woman who is polite, refined, and well-spoken in all encounters with others. So ladies, I hope that you can find these tips helpful to friend zone a guy in a polite, happy way so that you can positively maintain your friendship and remain close, but not too close, as you all continue being friends. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first tip is that you don't want to lead him on. What does that mean? Let me translate for you. No flirting, no cuddle, no snuggle. You don't want to get up close and personal a lot of times. Guys can take that, meaning that you're interested in him. And if you're definitely not, you don't want to get him excited or give him false hope. Don't hurt his feelings, ladies. Just make sure that you are maintaining you know, enough space between the two of you. and You each have your own personal bubble so that you don't get anything misconstrued and there's no room for him to perceive something as differently than you are intending it, okay? So the second tip is going to be reassure him that you like having him as a friend. Maybe just, you know, if you're hanging out, casually say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad we're friends. Like, I'm so glad I have you as a friend. You can say it out loud verbally when you guys are kicking it. Or you can, you know, text it just randomly out of nowhere. But make sure you're reinforcing the idea to confirm that he is a friend, you're happy you're friends, and that will let him know, hopefully, that you want to continue being his friend and you don't want to be more than friends with him. Third tip, okay, so this is a good one. And when you guys are hanging out, you can always suggest group activities. If you are maybe caught in a situation where it's one-on-one -on -one and that happens on a regular basis, unless you all have clearly established that you're friends, he knows that, you know it, everyone is happy, you're all square. Otherwise, it's going to feel like you're dating. And so having a group, having other people around you will help it to feel more like you guys are all just friends hanging out in a large group rather than you hanging out with him one-on-one -on -one and you're able to really just involve other people in the conversation and the activity and whatever you're doing. Okay, fourth tip. So if you're texting or if you're talking on the phone or hanging out and you're having a conversation and he's flirting, one thing that you can do, hopefully he will pick up on, is change the subject. If he's flirting and, and giving little hints and little comments, you can try to change the subject quickly. That way he will know that you are not interested in you know accepting the flirts accepting the compliments or returning the flirty behavior back and hopefully he'll get the hint okay this next tip is a really good one and it is pay for yourself if you guys are hanging out and you know it's just you two make sure that you're paying for yourself on a regular basis especially if you're in a group or if it's just you two if he has to pay and you forgot your card whatever you can always transfer money to him paypal cash venmo there are so many different ways you can always just hand him cash money the next time you see him but unless it's really your birthday he should never really be paying for you or you're celebrating something like a new job or a promotion or something exciting but you know in general you should not be letting a guy pay for you on a regular basis if you're just friends and the last tip is i know it may be hard but just be direct be honest if it comes down to it, you have to have that conversation. Don't do it over text. Don't do it over a phone call. Do it in person. Sit down. Talk about 
the fact that you want to remain being friends with him and just reassure that he's a good friend he's someone you want to have in your life but you're not interested in returning those feelings back you don't necessarily have to explain why you don't really owe an explanation but you do owe honesty so ladies you know muster up your strength get your courage turn on a girl power song while you're getting dressed maybe that'll help get in the zone but you need to have the conversation so that there is absolutely no room for someone to be confused or not know where you all stand in your relationship and as this video comes to a close i'm going to give three things not to do when you are trying to friend zone a guy and the first one is to be rude you never want to be rude because he doesn't deserve it he may think you're really awesome and he's attracted to you and he's excited he really wants to be you know more than friends and that's not his fault but you don't want to be mean or rude to him because he doesn't deserve it so if you want to maintain him as a friend never be mean or rude in person via text or over the phone because he will definitely get the wrong idea the idea that you no longer even want to be friends so don't push him completely out of your life ladies okay the next thing you don't want to do is to always say he reminds you of your brother how annoying is that it's not necessarily rude but it is quite annoying and irritating for someone to always say oh you remind me of my brother you remind me of my cousin oh my god you're just like my dad or my grandpa it's weird so just just don't don't say that that's something you can save you know save it for the movies but you don't really need to say that in real life there are some other things you can do i previously mentioned in the video to properly friend zone him and the last thing that you don't want to do is to always talk about an ex-boyfriend. How annoying. I mean, just like talking about saying someone's just like your brother, to always bring up your ex-boyfriend Robert and all the things Robert did and how Robert was either so great and amazing or so disgusting and gross. Either way, keep your comments about your ex-boyfriend to yourself because your friend doesn't want to hear it and that's definitely not appropriate way to friend zone him. So try some of the ideas earlier in this video to properly friend zone him. Now ladies, I hope that you found this video helpful and if you've got any more tips, leave them in a comment below for me because I would love to see ways that you properly friend zone a guy in your life. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with a friend, but also subscribe to the channel. I talk all about style, etiquette, and culture on this channel. So if you subscribe, you'll always get an update every time I've got a new video ready to go. And I appreciate your time today. I'm so glad you joined me. I look forward to seeing you again in another video about style, etiquette, culture to help you live a chic and polished life. Bye for now.